Okay, hey guys, so um, I just got home from working a midnight shift, so it's pretty late and I'm whispering yet again. I tend to do these videos <laughs> at not good times when my parents are sleeping. But anyways, um, this is a new cinematic. It says, uh, spoiler, I have not watched it or seen any YouTubers talking about it. Um, opposed to a lot of my other reactions, I usually end up kind of watching other YouTubers videos before I do it, like kind of them talking about it, but this is just up here. I have no idea. All I know is that Jaina and Thrall are in the thumbnail, so we're gonna see. Um, it's two minutes and 18 seconds long, and we're just gonna go ahead and react to this at midnight. Okay, this is after the Bane rescue, clearly. Thank you. Bane would have died without your aid. I couldn't let that happen. Nor could I. I refused to fail him like I failed his father. I wish I could change it all. Karen. Garrosh. Theramore. Sometimes... It feels like I did everything wrong. Oh my god, Thrall. <laughs> we all have blood on our hands. And now, Sylvanas will come. Thunder Bluff will burn. Just like Tildrassil. Oh my god. Once before, Is she you and I stood side by side on the slopes of Mount Hyjal. That world tree did not fall, because the Horde and the Alliance worked together. Horde? Alliance? We've come to this crossroad again and again, Jaina. It always falls apart. What's different this time? Oh my god, this is really good. We are. Oh, oh my god. I should go. Anduin will want to know that Bane is safe. Tell your king he is not alone. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I just want like a nice like thumbnail uh, for me talking. We're just gonna go with this. Okay, I feel like this cinematic was super like heartfelt and very like it, it did a couple of things. One, it was kind of the part where um, Thrall said, like, oh, we've come to this crossroad many times, like, what's different this time? That's kind of basically summing up, like, how Blizzard keeps just repeating the same lore. Like, oh, big bad evil, Horde and Alliance come together, ah, uh, falls apart, big bad evil come together. It's like, it's kind of, I don't know, I just thought that that was cool. It's like, yeah, literally that is how the cinematics tend to go. But it is true, they are different now, so there can be a different outcome, so I, it, they're clearly laying it out like Sylvanas is going to come to burn Thunder Bluff, but I'd like to think that she won't actually, um, because this was really just all part of her plan. Um, she arrested Bane in hopes that they would specifically come to rescue him, and I think that she's really just leaving it at that. Um, she's done what she needs to do, um, the Horde and the Alliance are, have gone to Nashatar now, and that's really as far as Sylvanas' plans um, falling into place. They have fallen into place. She has no reason to burn Thunder Bluff. I think that this is more just a setup so that they're going to think that she's going to burn Thunder Bluff. She's really not, but it's going to make it so that the Horde and the Alliance come together. And that's what Sylvanas ultimately wants because she does plan to just basically leave. Like, she's good. She really doesn't care about the Horde. She has her own motives, but at least she'll be leaving behind a, like, unified Horde Alliance, if that makes sense. So yeah, this cinematic was super duper good. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I just want to do a quick reaction so that I'm not like super late to the party, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know your thoughts down below. And if you think my thoughts on why Sylvanas probably won't be burning Thunder Bluff are like on point, because I really don't think there's any need to do that. I, yeah, I just can't see it. If Blizzard does that, that's just stupid 
bad writing. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.